Aloha golfers! Welcome to Golf in the Cosmos, episode number 32. I'm Kevin Robowski and here we talk all things Mac O'Grady and Morad. So today's video, the year is 1994 and we're in the bunker with Mac O'Grady and Seve Ballesteros. And what's really interesting about this video is that Seve considered like a god in the bunker is struggling and Mac is actually giving Seve here a bunker lesson which seems almost incredible because of Seve's reputation as being again such a expert at, at the bunker shot. Uh, Mac is giving him some some maybe some reminders of what he used to do when he was so successful. And I found it very, very interesting, especially because Seve is not playing a high, spinny, like modern bunker shot that we see today. He's playing a lower spinny shot. And uh, that's something that we don't really hear too much in the modern repertoire. A low spin, low trajectory bunker shot. Sorry, I should say a high spin, high spin, low trajectory bunker shot. And uh, so... Very interesting how Mac is setting this up and uh, giving Seve some of the some of the main points. I would say the probably the the keys to this shot um, is weights on the left foot, wide stance. Uh, Mac does has Seve vary the ball position, um, and uh, but basically weight left. And you'll notice Seve has a very short follow through when he does this. So this is what's very unusual. So Seve's weight's on the left, he kicks the right knee in eventually, and then cocks the club up very vertically. And Mac just wants him to go to P3 and then P8. P8 being shaft parallel to the ground. So from this angle, my weight's on the left, going up vertically to P3, and then just P8, little chicken wing of the left elbow. So this is a, an interesting nuance to bunker play uh, Mac and Seve, they very much taught and demonstrated chicken winging the left elbow out of the bunker. So it's not a huge wrist break and not a huge follow through. Um, and this is also contributing to the low trajectory, but he's getting a lot of spin on it. And so these are interesting fine points. I don't think uh, many other teachers would be qualified to get in a bunker and with Seve and show him and demonstrate and give him these very nuanced points to the bunker. Um, especially because Mac was also categorizing what Seve did when Mac played practice rounds with him in the 80s. And so a lot of this is just coming from uh, Mac's recall of what Seve did when he was so successful. But like all of us, we can kind of lose the feels and lose the um, finer points of what we did when we were once successful and uh, so it's very good you have to review tape um, in, in generally to um, you know to kind of sort those things out and uh, so that's I highly recommend you know doing that from time to time so again Mac uh, is very helpful in his instruction with Sebi and unfortunately you know, a lot of times some of these other teachers, I've heard Butch Harmon, Randall Chambly, you know, highly critical of Mac's work with Seve. But again, this video and the other videos that I have shown um, really demonstrate Mac's value to Seve at this time. And uh, both uh, at ha having a very keen eye and as expertise um, of these shots and the fact that Mac played a lot of practice rounds with Seve this was a very good team, and, uh, and, and Mac gets very little credit for his, his help of, of resurrecting Seve's game. And uh, so I, I really find that disappointing. And a lot of these players like Chambly and Butch Harmon, they were not inside the ropes. They didn't see what was going on, the interactions between the two of them. And so I find that these videos really share an intimate glimpse of that relationship, Mac and Seve working together. And uh, I thought it was a very good team. Unfortunately, like a lot of things with Mac, 
doesn't last long, but those moments that we do get to share with him, they're very profound, and uh, you know, it's uh, we're very uh, fortunate to uh, have spent sometimes even a brief time with uh, Mr. Michael Grady. So enjoy the video, and uh, we'll get back to the golf swing next week. Aloha. There you go. Try again. This time, it should uh, be a very simple, I know, very I simple know, shot. I know. You have to figure you it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get a little bit upset because you have to figure it out. It's simple. Yeah. So here you have your just simple little uh, bunker shot, 30 feet, 20 feet from the hole. How hollow. do you think we should start like to, to Okay. That. I think your stance should be closer together. Most close. Two ways. Two ways. Your stance can be very close and do everything exactly the same. So what I remember, yeah. what I remember. I never used to, I, I always play in the bunker with a spin. Okay, okay, so let's say you want to play. Before, before, even if it, uh, yeah. it was short, never play with roll, never yeah, in my yeah. life, always a spin. Uh, my my feeling was, okay, the ball is there, the plug is there, yeah. I have to uh, halfway to the hole, uh, go halfway and with the spin uh, we'll control that, you know what I mean? Don't the camera, so it doesn't blow over. Huh? Aguanta la cámara, se ve. You can just stand beside it, okay. Aguanta un poco, si no se rompe otra vez tenemos que ir a Santander. O cuelga, cuelga el talego, ¿no? Yeah, he can hook the bag on the bottom. Yeah, that's what I just told him. Yeah. Hey. Good. Very good. Okay. Está uh, stable. Yeah. Está stable. Tell him he does that very well. Tell, uh, tell him that he does that very well. well. I, ne I never, you see, I, if you watch Fred Couples and these guys, I don't know if he, uh, I don't know if they're good or bad, but to me, the technique of Fred Couples for these shots is not good for me. I think, you know, well, the ball is kind of, yeah, yeah. to me, the ball is never, I used to control the ball but with the spin, you know, yeah. and be aggressive. Yeah. This, this kind of, I just don't have the control, it goes anywhere. Okay, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, yeah, okay. so the, here's a couple of factors. Here's what they are. You have a rake. Hey, you do that very well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, there's a couple of things. You, you've always had bunker shots with a very wide stance. Okay? So you're either going to widen your stance like this and go a little bit outside and go that way. This is... The feeling that you hit, you see how yeah. you hit the ball? Yeah. This is my feeling. I think this is a terrible feeling. Yeah. You see the shot you hit there? Yeah. This is a push. It's not, that ball is not the strike. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's okay, watch, I'm taking, I'm taking this it. This is good for, uh, let me, this shot there yeah. is good for uh, a little eight, nine iron. Around the green. Okay, so, so if that's the case, then you can widen your stance like this, take it a little bit more outside, and go that way. You can go like this, a little bit more speed. Wider, just widen your stance, because you've always played with a very wide bunker stance, okay? So if, it, if you have a wider stance, it'll make you uh, think the club a little bit lower also, coming down for impact. More wider. I know. Hey, listen, this is where you have to get in here and work this stuff out until you find it. You know what I what? mean? I feel like usually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen. Oh, it's about time you felt. Hey, it's about time you felt that way. Thank you. I mean, for, for years you've been God in the bunkers. Now you have to struggle like everybody else for a while here. But just, you know, just have to get in just keep doing it over and over. Go ahead. Uh, no, let's, let's have this some. This is how you took okay. more or less. You see that? Yeah, I saw that. Kind of. Yeah. That's why I said before, lower your left shoulder. Down. Yeah. That was just a bit more. All right. Here you go. See? I think that's. Yeah. Can I go more down? So maybe I'm going too much there. Yeah. yeah. On, on the back swing, keep your. Set up the dress. Ready? Okay, put more weight left. More left. More left. More left. Okay, go ahead. By the way, that's how you used to have your uh, weight in the, in the sand trap. Did too much back, you know. Okay. Huh? 
That was the, that was the spin, right? Yeah, that's what I like. Okay. So just have 100% of your weight in your left leg. More. Eh? All, all your weight left. More. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's it. I just uh, that's it. I'm a small detail like here. Eh? I, I don't know what. But the small the ball's going lower trajectory, but you have more spin on the ball yeah. than you had before. Okay, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. The ball's coming lower trajectory and has very good spin to it. One more, then I'm going to change the camera. Wait, more left, more left. Okay. Now the shaft is stopping parallel to the ground. That, that, I think that was the problem. Okay. Too much here, eh? Too much. That's better there, no? Yeah. And keep your weight left. Wait left, more, more, okay. A better? Yep, the shaft is stopping parallel to the ground. Put more weight this time left. Okay. The more weight you have left, the more weight you have left, the more the shaft the staff will stay down lower. Oh the shaft goes through. Yeah, exactly, yeah, okay. More left, more, 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 okay. Right. Okay. That was a little bit more than normal, more weight, I mean. Yeah. But then you bring it back just a little bit. The shaft, I think, is still here. It has to go more there. It's too much in there, I think. No? I have, I have not been watching, so I could not comment. Keep your weight left, put the ball back one more, two more inches. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you might just put the ball back just a little bit. Okay, there you go. Now everything is stopping parallel at P8. Yeah. If you have more weight left, you have a shorter backswing also. Now see if your weight is left, you you don't go past P3. Before you you length your backswing P3 and a half up like this. So the more weight you have left, the shorter. Shorter backswing, huh? Yes, and then shorter the follow through is to the left. Is that better? Yep. <clears throat> Feel better. What? Feel better, but still we're missing a small detail. I don't know where it must be somewhere, but uh... that's why you practice. Keep the ball back a little more. Okay. Now this time, do the same thing. Keep your weight left. Put the ball up in your stance. More up. Now this time, move it up. 
Just to, so you, a different feeling. This should put more spin. See all the trajectory, you see all the balls there? Eh? Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. Also, let me explain to you one thing. I think uh, because, because uh, such a short distance, I think, it's very important to have the club uh, very vertical. You know yeah. why? Because you're not moving, you're not moving this yeah. very much this way. So the club it must come more in front. Yeah. So no, it, the, you're saying so the club it releases. Yeah, it must if release. If it, it gets that back, you hold on, it doesn't release, and it that, digs in the ground. That's my feeling. I think okay. it should be more vertical. Yeah. Because yeah, you can do part, that. This part is not moving. Yeah. No, you can do that too. For this shot. Yeah. Okay. More you, type of uh, Greg Norman, you know? Yep. Or in there. Well, this is right. Listen, we don't use Norman's name. Yeah, listen, we don't use Norman's name because Norman wasn't the originator. You are the originator. He's the imitator. Well, I, I, no, I, I'm saying that just <laughs> for, I know. for a reference. I know, I know. And I, and I know you know that, but I mean... Yeah, for reference. Yeah. So if I go there, what? I'm going to take club back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. I come back more, more into there. Just, just keep the weight left. What? Yeah. More control there, no? Yeah, also your weight is staying more on the right foot and you're not getting off at all. Off your right foot, I mean, just like here, it's staying down. Uh, none of these balls have been pushed to the right. Have you seen that? No. What? No. So, like number six, right? No. That's right. Yeah, I, I think I think moving the weight over and keeping the shaft a little more vertical in the backswing will help. Uh, okay, experiment. Put more weight left. More. More. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just we're just playing. Okay, oh, see your right knee. All right, see, 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 see. Move your right knee in. Okay, yeah. Now that ball had good spin. Yeah. You want to come look? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Huh? No, I'm going to hit my ball. That was absolutely perfect. See, you always, before, look like a, I tell this to them, you look like a cat. Huh? You, know, you know when a cat is, is you know, ready to go after an animal? That's what you look like in the bunker. Okay? So, Whenever you hit the bunker shot, you look like this. Watch. Your weight would be so much left like this that you would go so aggressive yeah, that way. Here it's like, you know, back and up and... Yeah. So much movement. No? What? So much movement. Yeah. Right trajectory, have the right spin. Soft grip. Nice sound? Yeah. Okay, now just two more. 
Move your weight 50 50. There's a little more movement uh, in the hands. I hit it more behind, actually. Yeah. I hit it stuff behind. So I need to be more here. Here, this is the goal. What? If you draw the line like this, right? And if you co come on, come on. What? If your weight is here, and then you have to transfer to hit on the line, it's too difficult. But if your weight is left, you can go right on top every time. Come on, try. A little left. Now put your weight 50 50. <laughs> See? So you have to, so to make the compensation, you have to go like this. That's what I was doing, remember? Go like this. You, you gotta, go, this yeah. Way. yeah. No? So you got to bring the club up so you don't hit behind the ball. In summary, about those bunker shots, all you're basically doing is feeling you got more weight left, shaft more vertical. Yeah. That's it. Two things, right? Show me. Hey, aim this way, this way. This way. Stay right there. Good.